In this video, we're going to go over how to validate a code in C. So by code, we really just mean some sequence of characters that has to conform to some properties. And I'm going to use the example of postal codes. So in Canada, we have postal codes. And the format of a postal code is letter, number, letter, space, number, letter, number. And so like an example of a valid postal code would be like L8B or L9B. And you could say like 5X2. And that would be a valid postal code because it's letter, number, letter, space, number, letter, number. And this could really be for any kind of code. Like it could be, you know, a different country's code, like America has zip codes, different countries have other kinds of codes for, for addresses, or it could just be any kind of code for representing any kind of information. We just want to validate whether it's a valid code or not. So to do this, we're going to actually have a function that's going to validate the code. And we're going to use some library functions to help us do this. So I'm actually going to include a few libraries here. I'm going to include string.h because we're going to use the string length function to help us. I'm going to include ctype.h because this library has functions that allow us to analyze a character to determine whether it's a letter or not. And I'm going to include stdbool.h because stdbool has true and false, which we can use in our program here. So let's make the function. We'll call it isPostal and it's going to return a bool. So say bool is postal say is postal code and we'll say here car postal code so we'll accept a postal code as a string and what we're going to do is we're going to write this function that's going to validate whether it's a postal code or not by checking for the postal code properties and it's going to return true if it's a valid postal code and false otherwise so we're going to provide the function definition down here and what we'll do is we'll pass this function here some example postal codes that are either valid or invalid and then we can test it out that way so i could say here like car code one and I could say it's equal to L8K space 4B6. And this would be a valid postal code because it conforms to the postal code properties of having a letter, a number, a letter, a space, a number, a letter, a number. And so it's a valid postal code. Now, to make this function actually test whether something is a valid postal code or not, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see that it conforms to what it means to be a postal code. So a postal code would not be a postal code if we put an extra number on here. Like we said five here or frankly, any other character, it would not be a valid postal code because it goes off the, the length of a postal code, right? Because we've really only got seven characters here, the three letters, the three numbers, and the space. And so the first thing we could check to see whether something is a postal code or not is whether or not the length of the postal code is seven. So we're going to use the string length function available in string.h to do that. And we're going to say here, if the string length of the postal code doesn't equal seven, then it's not a postal code. So if the string length of the postal code doesn't equal seven, it's not a valid postal code, return false. And then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna check one character at a time to see that it conforms to what we expect for a postal code. So first we expect a letter, then a number, then a letter, then a space. So we'll do these checks here. We're gonna say here, if, and there's a function in C type we can use to check whether a character is an alphabetical character. And we're going to say that a valid postal code is also one that includes lowercase letters. So if you had like K here, we're going to say that's also a valid postal code. So we're going to use this function is alpha that's going to check whether the character is an alphabetical character or not. In other words, whether it is A to Z, whether, that, whether that's lowercase or uppercase. So we're going to say here is alpha, and I'm going to say postal code at zero. And if this is true, then we have a valid postal code. But we, we still got to keep checking all the, other, all the other characters here, right? So the pattern of our function is going to be that when we detect that something is off, we return false. We're basically going to be checking for things that are off, things that are not correct. And whenever they are, they're going to return false. And that's going to be basically the, the pattern of our function here. And only if we get to the end and we haven't found anything wrong with the postal code, then we're going to return true and we're going to say it's a valid postal code. So I'm actually going to say here, if it's not the case that this character here is alphabetic, then we're going to return false because we're detecting that like, hey, this is not correct. So return false. We can't return true yet because we still have to check everything else. We can only return true when we've gone through all the characters and checked that they're all okay, right? So that's when we're going to return true. So we'll just keep checking characters now. The next one we're going to check is this character here. And we're going to check to see if it's a digit because it's got to be a digit. And if it's not a digit, we're going to return false. And again, there's a function in C type called is digit that can do that for us. So we'll, we'll, we'll call that function here. We're going to say if not is digit and we'll say postal code one return false. And then we'll do the same thing for character 
2, which is character 3 here, really. We're going to check to see if it's alphabetic. So we'll check the next character by checking the next index in this string here. And we're going to check to see if it's a character. And then this character here, we're going to check to see if it's a space. And it has to be a space specifically. So we're going to use a comparison operator here. We're going to say if postal code at 3 doesn't equal the space, return false. And then postal code at three, yep, so that looks okay. And then the next three characters are gonna look a lot like this, just kind of inverted a bit. So we're gonna check digit alpha digit instead of alpha digit alpha, right? So we'll check first for a digit. So we'll say here, let's check if postal code at four is a digit. Then we're gonna check if postal code at five is alphanumeric. And then we're gonna check at postal code six, whether it is a digit or not. And so we're just checking now for digit alpha and digit for the three remaining characters because that's the sequence we need is digit alphabetic digit and only if we get through all of these checks are we going to say yes it's a postal code because only at that point have we verified that it is in fact the postal code so now what we can do is we can actually test this out so we can say here let's call the function we'll say here if is postal code code one so if this is true print f percent s is a postal code and we'll print out code one else if this isn't the case we'll print f that percent s is not a postal code and we'll output code one there and we'll just call the function now with code one to check to see if it's a postal code or not and we expect to get back that it is a postal code because it is a postal code it does conform to the postal code requirements here so we can give this a run here we'll compile this here and then test it out. And we get that LAK4B6 is a postal code. So it is valid. Now we could test it out with different codes. So we could say here, let's try 4B65. So 4B65 here. And that is not a postal code, right? Because it's it's too many letters there. It's too many characters there. So I run this here and I get LAK4B65 is not a postal code. So it's working in that case. We could try to take out the space in the middle here. Let's try to see what happens if we take out the space in the middle. That should also not be a postal code because we're missing the space in the middle. So we, we, we recompile it, we run it here, and we get here L8K4B6 is not a postal code. We could try one more thing. We could try maybe changing a digit to a letter. So we'll change this digit to a letter. And we could run this. And we get that LAK4BL is not a postal code. And so now we've got this function here that can validate whether something is a code or not. And even though this example is, is pretty Canadian specific because we're talking about postal codes, this is really something we could use for all kinds of codes by checking for things like the length of the string, you know, whether certain characters are alphabetic or digits or other things that are available in the C-type library. And I've posted a video for the C-type library as well that you could check out that goes over all these functions that allow us to check for certain characters. So we can compose functions like this that'll use these sorts of functions to go through a string and make sure it conforms to whatever the code needs to conform to. And hopefully this has been helpful for validating a code in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.